trying to get my volume right. I just, I roll with this. I roll with this. All right, here we go. I'm back. What we on part three? Jordan challenges. You say MJ on top blast. I hear you. I see you over there, TikTok. How you doing? All right, so we on part three. We've completed ten of the Jordan challenges. All right, you like my jersey? I think this ninety seven or ninety eight with it. Ninety seven, ninety eight season. That's what the, that's what it says. NBA Finals. We ought to be getting to, to close to the end here. 98 season, so. Uh, we got five more challenges to do. I'm going to do two of them, and I'm going to call it a day. Then I'm going to come back and do the last three. All right. This one is called Double Nickel. Chicago Bulls versus the New York Knickerbockers. March the 29th, 1995. Michael Jordan proves he is officially back from retirement by putting on a show in New York, scoring 55 points in a regular season win over the New York Knicks. Okay? The challenges. Win the game, score 55 points, hold John Stark to less than two threes. All right, let's see if I can do it. I'm going to try my best. Let's see if I can do it. Michael changed the game because his, he, everyone tried to do what the things that he did. He would drive down, dunk on people with their tongue wagging and all that stuff. What he became, the evolution, um, I mean, it was like, wow. When you have a guy with the, the kind of notoriety, the kind of popularity that Michael has, it's good for the whole, the whole entire league. You know, y'all keep calling it the, the, the double nickel game. <laughs> he dropped 55 and you know he made a move to get to the free throw line and I thought he was going up for the for the shot and I go to try to block the shot he dishes it off to Bill Winnington he dunks it that game was the coming out party uh, for for him you know he showed and he came out the league uh, the world that he was still great and he went on to win three more championships According to him, he retired for what, two years to give the rest of us an opportunity to try to win, win, a, win a title. And, and, and according to him, I didn't take advantage of it. So he had to come back to, to show the world that he's the man. <laughs> All right, let's go. What a spectacular view from the water of New York City, where today the thing on everyone's mind is basketball. Welcome everyone, I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Coach Mike Fratello and Clark Hillen. David Aldridge will join us from the sideline moments from now. I don't like this vintage look. Yeah, get me out of this vintage stuff. Bulls have a two and two record. And Mike, now they take on the challenge of facing the New York Knicks here in New York City. Kevin, lots of people wondering if MJ is back to 100%. You look at his stat line as of look late, at Charles Oakley. just below his career averages. After only four games, Clark, it's probably fair to say Jordan is still getting up to speed. And getting back into shape, too, Kevin. Yes. You can't get your legs back overnight, particularly when the games are coming as fast as they are. You don't get a lot of practice or conditioning time. But as he gets into the swing of things, there's no question. His numbers will come back too. Boy, but this game could ignite him. Going over the starting lineups for the Bulls, it's B.J. Armstrong at the point. Then the dynamic duo of Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Then it's Tony Kukoc at the four. Down low, they've got Will Perdue. For the Knicks, they'll start off with Derek Harper and John Starks in the backcourt. With Anthony Bonner and Charles Oakley at the three and four. And at center, Patrick Ewing. It's going to be interesting to see how Jordan takes on this Knicks team. Will he try to yeah, <laughs> Luke Long ain't going ain't gonna to beat uh, Patrick Ewing for the tip, so. All right, Let's, let me refresh. Okay, win the game, score 55 points, hold John Starks to under two threes. Harper the pass to Bonner. Harper kicks to Bonner. 
Back to Harper. Outside Oakley. Five yeah, that's seven. who we want out there with it. Oakley. Don't let him have it. Who yeah! Oh, and here comes Pippen all alone. Here's Jordan. And one. And one. Who do we get that foul on? John Starks? What Pippen got on some Air Force Ones? I think that either one we win, whether it's uh, Patrick Ewan or John Starks, they got the John Starks, they got the uh, foul. Uh, who the foul? Patrick Ewan? Okay. I'd rather have it on John Starks since he's the one that I got to hold on the two threes. For him tonight. I'd rather have it on John Starks. I appreciate you watching me over there on TikTok. Be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube. I might be in my TikTok stream in a minute. I might just do it for 30 minutes or so. We'll see. Oh, boy. I'm kind of shaky on free throws. I, I, don't, I don't play 2K that much anymore. Ah, oh, I needed that point. You know, Clark, big challenges historically have a way of bringing out the best in Michael Jordan. And Kevin, I think that's we need to keep him under two threes, though. Keep John Stark away from the three-point line. So, basically, I just need to keep... Look at B.J. Armstrong. You know that gets the competitive juices of Michael Jordan stoked up. Yep, that's what drives him. You're right. Here's Jordan. The Knicks making the shot. Armstrong passes to Jordan. Woo! Come on, Jordan. You can't miss that, bro. Hey, Clark, something we're going to be watching closely. John Starks in his defensive effort right now against Michael Jordan. Kevin, that is a ginormous task, but one that Starks doesn't back away from. And I think he's up to the challenge. He knows how to be a best. I don't know if I can get Jordan 55, though, to be honest with you. I don't know. Effectiveness on the offensive end. It is going to be must-see basketball. Look how you are camping out in the paint. Good. We need that foul on John Starks. Get him out of there. Get that bum out of there. Get Starks out of there. Did I ever tell you about the time I, I, I got to see John Starks? I got to see him once. You guys have to. Uh, I might have to tell this story once. I saw him. I think it was like maybe around 2008. I saw him one weekend at. Uh, what they used to call it when it at the All Star Weekend they have like a jam session. They have it at the convention center of every city that they have the All Star Weekend. He was at, I saw him and Sam Perkins. I think it was when the All Star was in New Orleans. That might have been 2006. I saw John Starks. Oh no! Oh my God! We can't let him make another three. Oh my God, bro! We let him make a three already, man. I think that sends a clear message to other teams around the league that we're here and they have real playoff aspects. Who is that shooting? Pippen? Pippen, come on, Pippen. You a bomb, Pippen. Don't let him shoot no more threes. We let him get the one three. He can't get another three, bro. Thanks very much. The big question for everyone tonight, of course, is MJ really. Don't let the get him off that three point line. Get his at get his butt off that three point line. That's who we won't shoot. Oakley, that's who we won't shoot right there. Worth noting in the shoot around this afternoon, he did hit two half court shots back to back. Maybe that's a sign. Oh, good shot, George. Am I gonna have to? Maybe I can shoot the three with George. Who was number four? Is that Mason? Mason can't shoot no three. We're not worried about Mason. Come on, man. Luke Lonely, what we paying you for? Luke Lonely sucks. You suck, Luke Long. For Michael Jordan tonight, coach, especially on the offensive end of things. Yeah, people are hoping his explosive. Thank you, John Stars. Get him out of there. He the main one three already. Why we calling? I didn't mean to call timeout. Dang, John Stars made that dang on three. Davis has checked in. Whole starts to under two threes. Damn, that means I can't let him make another three the whole game, bro. Hey man. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Maybe I'll go for another three pointer with Michael. 
Jordan looking it over. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. You talk about a hostile crowd. Coach, these Knicks fans are going to be very vocal. It seems all game Yeah, long. crowd the paint. It's part of what makes Knicks home game so intimidating. That's what we want, Mason. Being in this building can give teams nerves. That's one thing New York got is they got Mason and Oakley. Can't, they can't shoot. So when they out there in the paint, you just let them have what have their way, man. Come on, Pippen. Good job. Because I need to win the game. I mean, Jordan getting 55 is cool, but I mean, I want to make sure I win the game. You know? I don't know if I'm going to get Jordan with 55 because I don't know. I don't know. I should have more points by now. Dang. And the Bulls going the other way now. Something we expect to see Chicago doing. Good job, Michael. Michael moving so slow, bro. From sinking three pointers. Yeah, because if he gets going from behind the arc and finds a rhythm, that could mean real trouble for the Bulls. Yeah, D up on the board. Run him off the line and keep him from knocking down threes all game long. That'll be a chase to watch. Good job. Good job. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. Oh, Scotty. That's his first foul. Checked in for the next team. Got dog and Scotty. And Chicago also making a Who is number 44? Oh, he can shoot threes. We got lucky that time. God dang, yo. Luke Longley is useless, bro. Luke Longley is useless, bro. We might see them relying on those easier looks going forward as a bigger and older squad. That's what they should be about. Dang, I could have went to the hole on him. Greg Anthony can't hold Jordan. That's my fault. So yeah, they try to not overwork themselves and go after simpler shots. And stolen by Jordan. Good job, MJ. There's 38 seconds left to play. Come on, Jordan. You gotta help me out, bro. He's picked up by Jordan. Here's Smith. Who is Smith? Somebody just signed a release for the had a name in 2K. Who is Smith for the Knicks? Who is that? Seconds left to play. There we go, baby. The and Jordan, un Jordan got 12 points. Okay, it might be. We might can hit it. We might can get there. Really we might can get there. Harper against Armstrong. Smith. They get it back. Damn, bro. Y'all got to help me out with the rebound, bro. Who is number 44? Blunt? He played for the. I guess he played for the Bulls that one year. To put a body on someone. Jordan, come on, man. Come on, Jordan. Welcome back, everyone, to New York City, where the Chicago Bulls are taking on the New York Knicks. And our second quarter is getting going here. Let me get some water first. I need to finish off this gallon. Let me get a gallon of water. I'm trying to do a gallon a day, man. I'm trying to get on that. Just give my body a good flush, you know what I'm saying? Hurry up. Get these challenges done. Chicago leading. The atmosphere in this building right now is fantastic as we go in. Oh, we got starts. This New York crowd is making noise and letting their Knicks know they've got their back. Jacks up a three. They don't, that count as a three? Boy, they got lucky on that one. Yeah, he's an incredible three point shooter. So you are ecstatic any time it does go in. You've got starts. Hubert Davis out there with Smith. Then it's Ewing. And it's Harper. Oh, you got him, Blunt. They're the group New York will start the second. Good foul, Blunt. I think that's Corey Blunt, eh? Didn't he used to play for the Lakers in the 90s? I think he played with Shaq, Eddie Jones, and Nick Van Exel, that team. Kobe was like a, a rookie, Eldon Campbell. Checked in for the Knicks. 
And Chicago also makes Damn, he yeah. had uh Ku coach had that three, didn't he? Here's Jordan. Twelve points for him. Good job. On the shot that sends him to the line. Oh, I wanted on Patrick Ewing. I can't shoot to a free throw for nothing, bro. You know, looking at this Knicks team, this is the first time they've really been at full speed. One for three and free throw? That's ridiculous. Really took its toll on Wennington. He's checked in for Luke Long. I need to play 2K more, bro. I... Outside. Outside, Harper. Passes it to Bonner. That's Bonner. So Anthony Mason, Anthony Mason family must then sign off on using his name. So Bonner, that's supposed to be Anthony Mason, right? That's supposed to be Anthony Mason. Well, now they have to get used to these new lineups. Yeah. Because the whole season is not a place to be figuring things out. So hopefully they click in the next few games. They're gonna have to. That dog on. Stop. He's got 13, and it's Kukoc with the jam. I had to take that easy. Jordan sees the floor so well, none of these people wear Air Force Ones back then, by the way. He gets the ball <laughs> that just made that the retro shoe for this for this team for these teams, I guess. They rather let them wear uh, Air Forces than wear um, 2K shoes, I guess. Starks outside. Just five on the clock. Bonner dishes to Harper. We don't want Harper shooting. Misses off the right iron. It makes you feel a little nostalgic to see Michael Jordan back in New York, a place where he's been. Dang, Michael. Heated in iconic games against the Knicks. And it's an inch with the ball. Following the three point attempt by Michael Jordan. And the foul called on Michael Jordan. Jordan, come on, bro. That's his first foul. Oh, first foul. That's okay. We'll take that as the first five. I wonder what my man game in. I ain't seen game in probably been at least a week. It's been a while. I haven't heard. No! Oh my God! Starks almost made that. Here comes Ewing to do what he does best: cleaning up the glass and making sure they convert. Starks against Jordan. God damn. Clark, this is Jordan's fifth game back with the Bulls, but it still feels like he's in the middle of his return. Kevin, I agree with you. The return tour, not quite over yet, but seeing him here on the Knicks' home turf again, it's almost like he never left. Yeah, thank goodness he is back. Yes. And now let's check in with David Aldridge. David, what do you have? Thanks, Kevin. Now, since Jordan's big return, Chicago is just two and two. What I'm overhearing in the huddle, they think this could be a big night. Guys, wouldn't that be something, David? Thanks for that. Mike sounds like the Bulls have a lot of good energy right now. A win here would certainly be a statement. The real Jordan would have made that. No! Man, we getting lucky he missing those shots. We getting lucky he missing those shots, bro. For Smith and Anthony subbed in for Derek Harper. And Chicago also making a switch. Purdue's checked in. Jordan inside. Defended by Oak. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Bonner kicks to Starks. Pass to Anthony. It ain't happening, but buddy. Down low. We'll let him have that. He can have that. You can have that. Let me go ahead and focus on winning, bro. Aggressively and forcefully take it to the rim and throw it down. Jordan outside. Kuko just screen on starts. And three from Jordan. Bangs on the trifecta. Jordan's got four points this quarter. And you see Jordan wearing number 45 out there. The same number he was wearing on the baseball diamond. Not his usual 23. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike, if he wanted to be 23 again, he'd have to pull it down from the Raptors back home. And he retired. There was no need of fouling. But it's still a little weird to see him wearing 45. Yeah, you know, it's never easy trying to defend Ewan inside, which is why he gets fouled. Ewan, thank you for missing that, Ewan. He looked just like Patrick Ewan, too, doesn't he? Longley's checked in for the Bulls. 
And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for Chicago. They trail by one. <laughs> Dang, Jordan. Beat them to the rebound. Love to see a big man doing his thing. Starks kicks to Anthony. And there's the pass to Davis. Kept alive by New York. Pass to Starks. Here's Ewing. Defended by Jordan. Second chance shot. Two points. Oh my One god, goal. Ewing can't miss that for nothing. Bulls struggling against Ewing. He's had a nice performance so far. The two opposing stars in this game, Mike, are more or less neck and neck in terms of their scoring tonight. Well, Kevin, you know Jordan and Ewing have very different styles. They get their points in different ways, but they can both do a lot of damage on the offensive end. A lot of damage. Now Starks, following the three-point attempt by Michael Jordan. Shot from the low block. Davis has the open look. Good, and it's Ewing with the assist that time. Now it's a six-point New York lead. Boy, how about that dime from Patrick Ewing? Very impressive passes like this. Speak to his unselfishness. There we go, baby. Why does Jordan have the blue icon under there? there? Somebody need to help me out with that. I'm trying to figure out why he got the blue icon. Well, almost is right. But that took some real skill. You and I know that. Snip that highlight clip immediately. We'll be seeing that one for a while. Now here's Anthony. No points in the game yet for him. Inside. Here's Ewing. Outside for Starks. Up in time. He and better not make that crap. Time, but doesn't fall. Just How many points did Jordan got? 18? That ain't going to cut it. Because he need to get at least 20. At least, but really about 25. Ewing making highlights for New York. Yeah. Eight points in the quarter. And that ain't going to cut it. Basketball instinct on display. Welcome back to the second half of tonight's game. I'm trying to get all three stars, but I don't know. I might just have to go for the win and just forget everything else. Just get the win. The double nickel would be great, but. It's been another memorable Knicks home game so far. Jordan got them. He got the nickel tens on. Is it to see Michael Jordan back in his Bulls uniform? Do they call him the New York Teens? I can't remember. Some incredible highs, and you can already see guys feeding off his energy, his talent, and his competitive spirit. So starting the second half, here's who Phil Jackson has on the floor. They've got Pippen. Two coaches out there with Purdue. Then it's B.J. Armstrong, and it's Jordan in at the shooting guard. Purdue with a screen on starts. And here's Jordan outside. Dang, Jordan. It's rebounded by New York. Ewing's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And since his return to Chicago, Jordan has remarked, Mike, that he sees this as Pippen's team now. What do you think? And that speaks to the respect Jordan has for Pippen. Scotty did a great job leading this team while Michael was away. But I know everyone is glad to have him back. Including you and I. <laughs> yes, indeed. Damn! Why is it so hard to score, man? Is it me? That's why I think a lot of people complain about 2K the last two years, man. It's, they, they changed the game, not for the better. It's so hard to score, bro. Look how slow they get to the ball. You can't even. Come on, man. Charles has worked hard on his jump shot. Oakley can knock him down now. Outside for Jordan. Kuko just screen on Starks. Jordan the pass to Pippen. Here's Armstrong. And the Bulls with another miss. Not what we expected at all. He normally has that shot down cold. Especially when he's got space like that. Very surprising. No! Come on, bro. Yeah, that's... That's hard to keep Starks on the... Okay, we ain't got to worry about that challenge no more. And he spreads your defense because he's got such range on his three-point shot. This New York crowd, Clark, is doing their part to keep the Bulls off balance here in the third quarter. Kevin, I don't know if there's a better NBA crowd in the country. I mean, these Knicks fans fuel their Knicks with great energy. Because
Yeah, you can't even make a shot, bro. Oh my God! Bro. And they have not let up. They are still in attack mode despite their sizable lead. And I like that mindset. There you go. You can't make a pass. Want to give the opponent any opportunity to get back in this one? Armstrong against Harper. Starks. And it's Chicago. Oh, they can miss a shot. I didn't know that. Much better than that. Really, no excuse for missing that lay in. Kuko. Come on, bro. The Knicks leading by 12. Here's Harper. The rebound by Pippen. Couldn't convert the bunny. That one was right there for him. You know, I gotta say, Michael Jordan has looked good since making his return to the league. Generally speaking, we just weren't really sure what we could expect from him. Harper, the pass to Bonnie. Here's a start. It's start made that, bro. Kept alive by New York. To you Thank you. They got these guys playing. Let me see if I can come back and win the game. Let's see if I can come back and win the game. Williams is checked in for Ewing. Smith comes in for Charles Oakley. And Hubert Davis subbed in for Bonner. Then for the Bulls. Luke Longley's checked in for Purdue. Blunt comes in for Tony Kukoc. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Armstrong. Jordan on the wing, covered by Starks. And That's ridiculous, bro. Miss. You know, Clark Jordan has had to get back up to speed uh, since returning to the NBA. No doubt about it. Only seven for 28 from the floor in his first game back. Clearly, some rust there, and it ended up being a loss. But he's bounced back and is looking. There you go. He's killing with the three. We remember now. Ralph Zan, a shooter of his caliber, can never be left that wide open. The pass to Jordan. I don't remember John Starr being that good at three. Left to play in the third. And it's Pippen in the corner. And again, Chicago. No good. These are two teams we've seen clash many times, including when the Knicks defeated the Bulls in last year's playoffs. Fiercely competitive series. Jordan against Harper. And here's Kerr from the arc. Finally. There's Jordan picking up the assist. You know, for me, the Let's see if we can win the game, man. Is the efficiency of the shooting motion. And when you watch Steve Kerr, that's what you see. No wasted motion on the shot. From deep three-point range, kept alive by New York. And Williams is right there. This guy, who is William? Some no-name guy. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. And here's Jordan outside. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. There's the dish to Harper. Right at the free throw line. They get it again. Basket good. Williams has got four this quarter. This is what he brings to your team. The ability to turn misses into makes. Pile up second chance points. Pippen for three. It's rebounded by New York. There you go. Starks dishes to Harper. Smith with a screen on Kirk. Back to Starks. Here's the three. And that shot Surprise, Starks didn't Knicks make that. And so it's the New York Knicks with a sizable lead as the quarter. Surprise, Starks didn't make that. 16 points. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. And we'll be back with you shortly. Welcome everyone for the fourth quarter here in New York. It's been a great game here today so far with the Knicks going up against the Bulls. With all eyes on the returning Michael Jordan. As we get into the home stretch here, the question of whether or not Jordan has his legs back is a little more important. Ewing is out there with Smith. Then there's Harper. Then it's Starks. And it's Bonner in at the three. That's the five for New York right now. 
to the inside. Stolen by Ewing. Here's a start. Oh, I can't believe he didn't make it. But Clark in a competitive game, Jordan might just have to tough it out on the floor. You know, some guys think. Oh, Jordan made it. I can't in believe it. Basketball shape is to play the games, and I'm in that They look gym. good. And good job. If that's true, then Jordan probably wants to get as much action as he can since he's looking to get playoff ready. And I know he cannot wait. Harper, the pass to Ewing. All right, let's go. That shot is Can't believe he missed it. Going the other way now. Clark, one thing Chicago wasn't able to do in this one was keep starts. All right. Shots at the arch. Yeah, he was terrific from behind the arch. Let's get a stop. I think he shot the ball with a lot of confidence, especially from deep, to knock down those buckets. Here is Bonham. We just gonna hold the hold the ball and drop the and turn the clock down. Smith with a wide open look, and it's in off the backboard. Who is Smith? Bonner passing you love seeing Bonner whipping it to the open man. Bulls trail by 16. On layup, screen on starts. Jordan drives in. A good job preventing the layup. I think it's smart to make him earn it from the line. Yeah, intelligent defense there. The coaching staff encourages these guys to do whatever they can to avoid giving up easy buckets. Clark Michael Jordan certainly has found some success on offense throughout this game. Yeah, working really hard and, and finding some shots, but he hasn't been dominant. And sometimes you just have to look at that as part of the process of getting back. To the middle, here's Bonner and the rejection by Pippen. Can we get the rebound? Work to get there for the denial. That was really a nice hustle play. Come on, baby. Bulls trail by 15. Outside Jordan. Kuko just screen on starts. Start Come on, Tuco can't even set a pig, bro. And he drives in, and the dunk by Jordan. And you got to give some credit to the six man Clark. These New York fans there we go. loud and bold. Absolutely, Kevin. I tell you what. The enthusiasm All right, come on. Let's see if we can come back, baby. I think it's been a difference maker. Really helping the Knicks play at a high level. It is something else in here right now. Harper the pass to Bonner. Now, here is Starks. Guarded by Jordan. Oakley a screen on Jordan. A shot by Starks, no good. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him. It can take him away when he gets that kind of a look. New York leading by 13. Bonner passes to Harper. Outside Oakley to the paint, looking for Ewing. He gets it there. 
scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. The paint is really Ewing's domain. He uses his size and length to just own the inside. Jordan against Starks. Fly by Jordan. And one. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Shooting for you. Michael Jordan. Free throw no good for Jordan. We all know about Michael's offensive prowess, okay? I miss prior like five points and free throw. Well. He works hard at that end, and that's rare. Good so, defense. Ewing dishes to Harper. Oakley a screen on Jordan. Unloads from nine. Tony Kukoc comes up with the rebound. Kukoc has got his sixth rebound on the night. Goal Come on, Ewing. bro. Come on, bro. Starts against Kukoc. On the top of the key. I can't believe he missed it. Missing. This is what happens to streaky shooters. He couldn't miss in the first half, and now he can't buy one. And again, no good by Chicago. And Ewing has got the ball here for New York. They led by as many as 18 points. Has to Starks. Here is Bonner. Ewing kicks to Bonner. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Harper from the arc. Bill Purdue grabs the miss. Bulls trail by 13. Jordan hot. Jordan, the basket coach. Fulton, the the game over with now. They want to call time out. They want to try to play the game over with now. Especially with that kind of defense on him. Get out of the way. New York calls timeout. They lead by 11. 119 left in the game. Well, I don't play 2K that much anymore, so my skills aren't that good, so I gave it my best. 119 left here in the fourth quarter. Harper dishes to bottom. Gave it my best. There's the pass to Starks. Fades and shoots. And he can't bank that one in. And so here is Chicago. So far in the fourth quarter, they belong to six points. Pippen against Harper. Nobody fired him. The shot, he'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Never afraid of the physicality of the game. Harper embraces getting fouled while taking it to the basket. So New York going with almost an entire new group. Williams is checked in for Ewing. Smith comes in for Oakley. Davis is checked in for Bonner. And Anthony subbed in for Starks. Well, Jordan got about 30. Going with an almost entirely new I'll take that. We didn't. We only lost by 10. It wasn't that bad. I gave it a good effort. Now they want to play. They want to steal balls and do all that. It's too late now. It's over now, man. Well, he just about got that one, but it ends up slipping out of bounds. And now you expect him to increase ball security and start playing it safe around him. Bonner, he's checked in for Derek Harper. Davis kicks to Bonner. Look at that, Jeb Bushler. Anthony, the pass to Davis. Anthony dishes to Davis. And here is if you look at the Bulls team from like the, especially the, the late 90s team that won the last three-peat. this game really got away from him. Yeah, just couldn't keep it competitive. The Bulls really didn't have, you take away the starters, the Bulls really didn't have that, that great of a bench. Like, it's really kind of spectacular how the, the Bulls did what they could do. Now he won. Now he won a ball. He got 31 points. You know? We didn't get none of the challenges. Don't foul him. Let him go, bro. We gave a valiant effort. We gave a valiant effort. We gave a valiant effort. Man, that's that. We didn't get nothing done. I should have just concentrated on winning the game. Yeah. All right, get us out of here. We didn't get nothing done. 
96. Father's Day victory. Is that the, the finals in 96? That is. Father's Day victory. Seattle Super Sunday. Chicago Bulls. June the 16th, 1996. NBA Finals, Game 6. In an emotional performance on Father's Day, Michael Jordan caps a record 72-win season by winning his fourth title, dedicating the championship to his father who passed away three years earlier. What's the challenges? Win the game. Score 22 points, grab nine rebounds, gain seven assists, win by 12 points or more. Okay, we're going to win the game. I might not do all that, we're going to win the game. But you know what? I'm going to make a wardrobe change to make sure that we win the game, to give us the strength that we need. Give me one second. We finna win it now. We finna win it. Finals edition. Uh-huh. Finals edition. We finna win it. We finna win it. We finna win it. Now it feels right. We finna win it in the fight in the Father's Day jersey that Michael Jordan won. We finna win it in the Father's Day jersey that Michael Jordan won. It feels right now. It feels right. Let's go. Let's get it done. And we gonna call it a night. Come on. When you win six championships and win MVP. The glove, and ladies and gentlemen. Scoring titles, you have to be considered one of the best. Michael Jordan had that and more. Going in the 1996 series against the Chicago Bulls, I was the defensive player of the year. Michael was the, the MVP, and they had made a big deal about it. But I think my mindset was is just to go in there and, and contain it, make him take uncomfortable shots, make him take something that's not in his rhythm, and give us a chance to win, and make other players beat us. Kuko stepped up, Pippen stepped up. A lot of players stepped up. Michael Jordan stepped up on game six. He got smart about it by attacking us and getting us in, in situations where we're getting in foul trouble and then we couldn't do nothing about it. In these games, I was saying anything I wanted to say to Mike. And it, it went back and forth and he didn't back down. He was always strong and he always came at me. And I love it. I think he's one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. All right, TikTok people, I'm about to end my stream, TikTok. If you want to keep watching, come on over to YouTube. series deficit, but the Sonics have marched back from the brink and now stand poised to take it the distance. And tonight, as they approach the final leg, it's their opponent Bulls who seem wounded and weary. Once given up for loss, can they find their way to the promised land? It ain't happening. Not on my watch.
We winning this. We win it for Father's Day, 1996. Across town from See, the United Center, we finna win it. Downtown Chicago. We winning it. Now it's time to hear the starting lineup from tonight's PA announcer. Ray Get this filter crap off here. TikTok, I'm finna end my stream, TikTok. I'm still live on YouTube. Come on over to YouTube and watch me, okay? Ooh, look at that intro. That music copyright ain't. Look at Dennis T. nostalgic man I hope I don't get a copyright claim I hope I can leave that in there I hope I don't get a copyright claim that look good Scotty Pippen dealing with knee and especially ankle injuries that have limited his effectiveness. And while the Bulls are banged up and bedraggled, Clark, the Sonics seem on the rise. Yeah, you take a look at their big guy, Sean Kemp, an all-star. The Sonics are definitely younger and healthier at this point, but still a tall task to win two in a row on the defending champs' home court. Oh, big, big effort tonight needed. On the floor for the Supersonics, the defensive player of the year, Gary Payton. He's joined by Hawkins in the backcourt. At the forward spots, Shrimp and Kemp. And Brakowski at the five. And the five for Chicago. MVP Michael Jordan and Harper are the guards. Pippen and Rodman form the front court, And big Luke Longley at center. And after the Sonics lost the first three games, Coach Carl finally put the glove, Gary Payton, on Jordan. Some question what took him so long to guard the MVP with the defensive player of the year. Now here's Peyton. Wow, look at that court. It looked just like we're in 1996 in the finals. Wow. Let's even get my stream back right. Give it a second, let my stream get back right.
Looks like my stream back. Okay, good. I wanted to let my stream get back right. <sighs> Had to let that stream get back right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to go for winning the game. I'm not going, you know, I'm not going to try to do too much. I'm just going to go for winning the game. You know, I'm not going to try to show out too much. We're just going to go for the win. And we're going to try to, re we're going to relive the moment when Jordan won the finals on Father's won His first NBA finals on Father's Day. Where his dad was in prison. I ought to pull out my bread 11s. My Jordan bread 11s, shouldn't I? If I was prepared, I would have. I would have pulled out the Jordan bread 11. But we're not going to do all that. I'm trying to make get my stream. I see you watching me over there. Hopefully my stream not freezing. I want to make sure my stream not freezing. But it, I don't think it's freezing anymore. Oh! This is what fans come to see and love to see. We just want to go for the win. Score 22 points, grab nine rebounds, get seven assists, win by 12 points or more. Okay. Kept rising up and dropping it down. Now Jordan. On a screen on paper. Jordan kicks to Pippen. Outside, Rodman. Where Pippen at? That Pippen. Now here's Jordan. Rodman sets the screen for Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Pippen Come on, Pippen. Oh, Pippen hurt? Pippen always hurt, man. Look at the last two games for Michael Jordan. His numbers have Ron Hopper hurt? Gary Payton hurt? Why everybody hurt? The first three games, Kevin, he averaged 31 points on 46. Look at Pippen. He got the he got the up tempos on. Only 24 points on 41% shooting. That's a significant difference. Yeah, Payton's done a great job. And here is Jordan after the three-pointer from Scottie Pippen. The slam dunk by Pippen. Come on, baby. It looked like Gary Payton got his shoes on, too. Luke Longley hurt? Why everybody hurt on the team? They make this stuff too real. Damn, Hershey Hawkins. He looked just like Hershey Hawkins, too, don't he? He won't miss a guy who's Look, Jordan, he got the bread 11s on. Pass to Hawkins. Man, Hawkins, wish he did play like that back in the day. And the Sonics refusing to go quietly. And for more on that, let's bring in David Aldridge. Well, thanks very much. After Chicago's 22 win gave the Bulls a Look at Jordan. Ooh, that look good. To even some Seattle players thought this series was over. That look good. <sighs> that is everyone but Sean Kemp. The all-star forward challenged his teammates between games three and four. Kemp delivered back-to-back double-doubles from the Rain Man. Damn, bro. To game six. Kevin? He's been terrific. David, thank you. I'll be honest, Mike. I didn't think Seattle would push the 72 win bowls to a game six. Did you? Me either. Obviously, the Supersonics are giant underdogs. Luke Longley, bro. Possible again. Outplay Michael Jordan like Dang, the way Robin grabbed that rebound. That was Venice Robin. He snatched it out the air. <laughs> and me, I think I've covered all bases. Uh, this Clark has been a very tough series for Scotty Pippen. No doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, he's shooting 32% from the field and just 18% from the three-point line. We know he's not anywhere close to 100%, but let's see if he can still find something extra tonight. Digging deep because the Bulls need somebody other than Michael Jordan to step up. Indeed they do. Excellent point. Now, they really do. Jordan, following the miss by Sean Kemp. Only with the bucket. Smart. Good job, baby. Uh, 
All right, let's go. Positioning that time by Longley as the roll man, being as disruptive as possible to open up space. For I love this way this court looks. It looks just like the '96 Bulls court. I mean, it looks just like with the NBA Finals logo on it. They did a good job with well, that. Let's throw some numbers at the folks out there, Coach. The Bulls missed 20 threes in a row at one point. MJ shot 50 percent from the field. Everybody else under 33 percent. Jordan can't do everything, can he? Now here's Pippen after the miss from Gary Payton. Ah, damn, Pippen! They say last touch by Pippen. Chicago making some changes. Wennington, he's checked in for long. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. Perkins, he's checked in for Seattle. And here's Peyton Hill. Bring it up for the Supersonics. Trailing by five. And it's Kemp at the elbow. Shoots over Rodman. Misses off the left eye. Here's Jordan. Woo! Jordan with the jam. That's a heads up play by Kerr. Finding the open man and getting him the ball on time and on target. Well done. Trail by seven. How about this, guys? The last time the Bulls lost two home games in a row over three years ago, 1993. Remarkable. And that was in the old Chicago. Good job, Bill Winton. Only problem, Sam Person don't make his free throw. This is 72-10 Bulls team, too. I can't believe Sam Perkin missed that free throw. This team believes in him big time. Here's Jordan, and they double up Jordan. Yeah! Robin ain't going to make that. Look at Dennis Robin. Drink defensively for Chicago, and the fans absolutely love it. Ah! junkyard dog throwback game of Rodman is part of what makes him so yeah the Sun has had some good three-point shooters too back in that that team could shoot some threes I don't think they really had defense Gary Payton made him do made him play a little defense and that's two points on the way and guys something to monitor Gary Payton is playing through a calf problem however Watching him guard Michael Jordan the last two games, you have no idea. We think they were really feeling good in warm up. Jordan only got one rebound. Hot out of the gates, and their shot selection has been excellent. Great patience show by them. That bucket in in no time at all. Peyton's got his second bucket of the night. Peyton is a tone setter. Gary is always ready to take control, especially when he's making shots off. And one. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Kuko, she's checked in for the Bulls. Team foul. At the line for your Bulls, Michael Jordan, shooting one. I can't make a free throw worth a nut worth nothing. Trail by eight. We've got 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Hawkins passes to Peyton. Down low. Rodden versus Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp won that one. With the assist. Peyton's got his fourth assist in this one. On fire so far to start game six. Kemp looking to lead this team for at least one more game. Clayton played some D, didn't he? Look at those throwback shoes they got on, them flights. Who remember them flights he got on? McMillan. I remember McMillan. I still got that car. I think I got his card when he played with the Sun. Nearly tough enough 
defense inside. They made that all too easy for him. Good coach kicks to Jordan. Okay. Come on, bro. Jordan should have made that, bro. It's the second quarter of Game Six, the 1996 NBA Finals. Seattle trying to extend this series. The Bulls looking to put the finishing touches on all-time season. Chicago leading by four. It is clearly an easy. Remember Ron Harper with the Jordan the Brand 11. Playing on Father's Day without his late dad. The floor general that time going upstairs for that finish. Oh, Clark, and a point guard that can elevate like that, he has got a lot of value in this league, no doubt about it. Without. another dimension to the offense here are the five for seattle to start the second quarter mcmillan is out there with gary payton then it's kemp and there's perkins and it's shrimp and at the small folk they run that triangle i think outside jordan screen by longley the drive by jordan look at payton file the shot, so make the free throws throw, man let me try to make these free throws bro and really for Michael Jordan, so much has happened since he lost his father, Mike Fratello. Well, first retiring, trying out pro baseball, coming back to the NBA, winning an MVP. The one thing left, win a title. And you know Michael Jordan is thinking about his dad today. He's got it. And it's Perkins with the jam. For Jordan, into the second quarter, Mike, the shooting numbers are better than what we saw in Seattle. Well, some adjustments from Mike. Freeing himself up for some better looks. Looking like the league MVP tonight. He does. Woo! And it's Jordan with the jam. Like, wow, that is pretty much an unbelievable dunk. Uh, Clark, I'm not sure I do believe what I just saw. <laughs> I don't know how he was able to execute the reverse with such tight defense. Passes it to McMillan. Campus screen on Harper. Rocket six out to Peyton. Launches a three. It's all in by the Bulls. Up top, Jordan. 12 points for him. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Right side, Harper. The pass to Jordan. To the middle. Here's Longley. There you go. And the assist goes to Jordan. Jordan's got his sixth assist on the night. Let's put these bombs away. The story in the newspapers this morning. The future of this Bulls team. Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman, Phil Jackson are all free agents. Perkins trying to break loose. And he uses the glass on the lane. Jordan's got the lead up to 10 now for the Bulls. That was the 2K drive, as that move deserved another look. Nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. Pass to Peyton. Fires from deep. Gets the I can't believe Peyton ball. made that. Peyton wasn't no three-point shooter. Peyton wasn't no three-point shooter, Jordan, bro. Rodman, Phil Jackson all coming up. Do you think that's a distraction at all? It could be, but I don't think it is. I mean, it's the finals, Kevin. You're focused on trying to get another championship ring, but I really hope management and those three work things out. This team shouldn't be one and done. They should have a long road in front of them. I agree. And Seattle making a change here. Hawkins has checked in. A drive by Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. Coming off that pick separation he needed and once he got that separation Clark there was no stopping him and he capitalized with the emphatic finish Kemp a screen on Harper Peyton against Harper nice fake with the layup off the mark 
So the Bulls lead this series, Mike, three games to two, trying to cement themselves as one of the... What's Scotty yet? I know he hurt, but... An NBA record, 72 wins in the regular season. But Chicago needs to close this series out to be considered the greatest. I agree. Outside, Baton. Good foul. Be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Okay. Baton and mind a little contact now. Seems to embrace it when he's going in for a shot. So for the Bulls. Pippen comes in. Yeah, Pippen should have been Kane. And Kerr subbed in for Ron Harper. And Seattle also making a change. Rakowski, he's checked in for Perkins. And here's Jordan outside. Jordan can't get that one to fall. Next trail by seven. It's another poor shooting night, Clark, for the Bulls from three. There is time, though, to turn it around. There is time, Kevin, but I believe they've got to start knocking down outside shots. If they can't make threes, I think that puts even more pressure on Michael Jordan. No, how did he end up open? That let shrimp. Come on, bro. He's got six assists in the game. Such a clean shot by Shrimp. He knew he just needed the ball. Long lead passes to Jordan. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the half. And it's sent back by Kemp. Tough to get a shot over the rain, man. Rejected there. The dish to beat. Shrimp against Pippen. I know who it's coming to, Gary Payton. Now, here's Shrimp. He's tightly guarded, and he throws it down hard with one hand. Are you kidding? Oh, watch out now. They're mounting a nice run here. Yeah, they're right back in it. Just got to stick with it. And Sean Kemp picks up the foul. Sean Kemp. That's his first foul. Wingate is checked in. I was going to Kerr. He better foul. I was going to Kerr. Supersonic substitution. 104 left in the first half. Peyton against Jordan. And there we go, baby. With the jam. Well, Seattle Mike even forced a game six. That's very impressive. They were down three zip. The Sonics are massive underdogs. Just getting back to Chicago is a win for them. Peyton passes to Kemp. Kicks it out to Hawkins. Why wow, Hawk is wide open, bro? Another three for Seattle. That's how the how that's how Seattle beat you for real with all them three point shooters, man. Here's Jordan, eighteen points for him. Sean Kemp draw you into the paint, then they kick it out. Jordan over Sean Kemp thus far. MJ wants this series to end tonight. This year's MVP wants another ring. Kemp really needs to step his game up to extend this series. He's gonna have to be at his very best. You're right. Here's Kerr for three. Ah, damn. Come on, man. He's going up for the alley hoop and slam dunk by Kemp. Kemp, such an exciting player, especially on these alley hoops. And here's Jordan outside. No good on the last. We losing by a point. I can't believe. For the first half, a competitive game so far. Sonics ahead as they end the second quarter on a 15 to four run. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Welcome back, everyone, as we look out across the horizon, the sun setting on the shores of Lake Michigan on this beautiful evening in Chicago. Game six of the NBA Finals. It's the second half, along with Coach Mike Fratello, former player Clark Kellogg, and reporter David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. The Bulls hoping to hoist the Larry O'Brien Trophy tonight. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. Boy, excellent first half. Living at the rim so far. Some monster dunks. They'll need to find a way to slow them down if they can. Things have come Ooh. circle for Dennis Rodman. Remember, the world was on those bad boys Pistons team that eliminated the Bulls three straight years. We got long lead. Rodman is out there with Pippen. Then there's Harper, and it's Jordan in a shooting guard. 
And that's the group for Phil Jackson as we begin the second half. Michael Jordan. Shooting one. And after battling Chicago for years, Clark, the NBA's rebounding leader, Dennis Rodman, now joining the Bulls. You know, he was brought in as the final piece of the championship puzzle, Kevin. So far, so good. Rodman looking to earn his third ring. Wow. Mm. And here is Jordan. To the inside. Come on, man. That's off the pass. In the first half, Mike, a much more effective Michael Jordan than Game 5. We know Michael is going to review the film with Phil Jackson. And what they've done is draw up some very nice sets for MJ. Harper kicks to Pippen. A three off the mark. And I'm sure he's surprised that one didn't go down. Well, he's not going to make every shot, but you expect him to make these. Hawkins passes to Burkowski. Trying to get open is Kim. They get it back. Shrimp outside. Baton. Tries again. And Come on, bro. Peyton's got the lead up to four now for the Sonics. And, you know, the D has to be more aware of Peyton, especially when he's looking to score from there. No good from Jordan. Not a strong finish there, resulting in a rare miss from him. I know we could crown a champion tonight. But looking forward, huge questions for the Chicago team. With that, let's go over to D.A. Thank you very much, Kevin. Now, most of the talk this morning in Chicago is Are you kidding me, man? What about the Bulls offseason? Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman, and the head coach for all three agents. Now, management is hopeful that all three will return, but the tense negotiations are on hold. Of course, everyone is concerned first with winning a title. Back to you. Yeah, David, thank you. There are, Clark, a lot of moving parts here. This can't be, though, their last run together, can it? I certainly hope not, Kevin. I mean, this current Bulls core, as constituted, could go on a historic run. It would be an absolute shame if they were one and done and didn't have a chance to see how far they could play this thing out. Yeah, I think as fans, we'd get robbed. I think we all want to see more of it. Well said. Yeah, agreed. And for the Bulls, Scotty Pippen, Clark, a very frustrating night for him. Clearly. And yet, you've got to give Scottie Pippen credit for playing through the pain. Yes. But those other guys, the Supersonics... They're just going to hold the ball. That's their strategy. No issue at all about that. Seattle is out there to continue to frustrate him. And they are. Four on the shot clock. Here's Perkins. That shot off. Good defense. Some solid defense from Pippen. George Carl's adjustment in game four, putting Gary Payton... Majority. There we go! It changed the series. Of course, the glove winning defensive player of the year this season. Part of the reason Carl made that switch. Here's Peyton. 14 points for him. Come on, baby. Get a defensive stop, baby. We can stop him. Stop the glove. Run. You got him, glove. Run. Pass to Hawkins. He's looking for Kemp and finds him. Good D, Dennis. Good D, Dennis. And Gary Payton, who led the NBA in steals. But it's about more than defense, it seems like, Mike, with him. Running the point. Payton was top ten in assists. Right. Beyond the numbers, the glove is such a competitor. Never I can't do nothing if you're going to miss shots like that, bro. Opposition. I can't do nothing, oh, man. If you're going to miss Scott shots like that. He is indeed. Shrimp a screen on Jordan. Here's Payton. And out of bounds. Good defense. A different look for Seattle. Come on. In for Kemp, and it's in for Gary Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's win it for Jordan's dad. Let's win it for Michael's dad. From deep again, similar to what we saw in game five. And because that's the case, I think you've got to give Seattle some credit there, Kevin. I mean, Gary Payton is the defensive player of the year and playing good defense so far. He makes things really hard for the Bulls on the perimeter. You've nailed it, Clark. Who coach against McMillan? Back to Shrimp. Pass to Askew. Two minutes remaining in the Let's the three fly. Two minutes. Chicago grabs a miss. We've got 155 left. Yeah! Go. And it's Who coach with the jam. You know, with all the other things Pippen does so well, sometimes I think we forget 
how good a passer he is. Good job, Pippen. Here's McMillan. Pass to Askew. Pass to McMillan. From deep. The Sonics again can't hit. Chicago trailing here. With the chance to clinch the title tonight, Coach Patello, Michael Jordan has been outstanding in the battle with Cam. The Rain Man hasn't been able to keep up with Jordan. The last two games of the series, wins that's what I'm talking about. Kemp was able to win this showdown. No, I'm talking about. We'll do it for Michael's dad. Let's do it for Michael's dad. North Carolina. Sam Perkins and Michael Jordan won the Dang. national title with the Tar Heels. They can do that five. No Hershey Hawkins will make that. Quite simply, he's automatic at the line. Jordan outside. Inside. And then Rodman with the dunk. Really good cut from Rodman. They're being rewarded for working hard in that screen and roll action. Rodman's done a perfect three for three so far. Make Miller hurt? Good. Six seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Hawkins. Seattle missing again. We got lucky. Chicago leading. And they double up Jordan. Pass to Pippen. He hangs. Hawkins against Jordan. Tipped away. Shot clock at six. Driving the lane. Good oh, defense. Wow. Shrimp kicks to Perkins. Here's McMillan, who's back up. And the last second attempt. Come on, we fighting for this. We doing this for Michael's dad. The Bulls on top, leading by a point. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. We doing it for Michael's dad. This could be the final quarter of basketball. This right, let me use the bathroom for Michael's dad. Let me we doing it all for Michael's dad. Let me use the bathroom for Michael's dad. Come on, we got to win it for Michael's dad. To close out a historic season. Here is Hawkins. Going back to game five. Michael Jordan, just two points in the fourth quarter. Normally, that's when MJ takes over. Maybe Mike is human after all. The last time the Bulls won a title, Father's Day 1993. 
Oh, last time he won a title, Father's Day 1993. No wonder Michael was so emotional. <laughs> Interesting day, difficult day. DA, thank you. And Mike, things full circle. Castillo Pippen. His kids up in the stands tonight. Yeah, Michael's playing with a heavy heart. But told us before the game, he's playing. Good rebound, Longley. Now y'all acting like you want to win. Look at Longley holding his back. Like a old man. We've got Gary Payton. Sean Kemp is out there at Perkins. Then it's Shrimp. And it's Hawkins. And at the two guard spot. Eaton inside, defended by Kirk. Jordan against Hawkins. And Gary Payton is going to pick up the foul. They desperate. They fouled. They desperate. That's what we want. We got them where we want them. Why were the Sonics able to hold Jordan to two points in that fourth quarter? Well, first of all, Kevin, we never see that. But you know, Jordan appeared to be tired to me. I mean, MJ was doing everything scoring wise. Payton. Good, thank you. We got saved on that one. There's no doubt about it. We'll see a different Michael Jordan in this final frame. You can count on it. A strong finals performance, Mike, from Michael Jordan trying to secure his fourth NBA title. Unbelievable. There's no way you can keep Jordan down too long. Michael's just so good. Third person foul. Second team foul. At the line for your goals, Michael Jordan, shooting one. Clutch. Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. Hawkins kicks to Payton. Kemp with a screen for Payton to end the run, and Kemp slams it in. The passing skills of Payton are something else. Such an outstanding distributor. And they double up Jordan. Odman passes to Hart. Bulls moving the ball around. And they recover it. Right side, Pippen. Jordan outside. Rodman dishes to Jordan. Back to Rodman. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Good try, Rodman. He tried. In the game. Remember, guys, this is game number 100 for Chicago. And the Bulls are the oldest team in the league. That is a huge factor here in the fourth quarter. Just five to shoot. Back to Peyton. A little over two and a half minutes of oh. the fourth quarter. Showing off his strength and vertical. Kemp loves getting after it on the offense. Boom! Peyton is a force on defense. Looking to prove that against Jordan right now. My goodness, taking the chance to add a little extra spice with that throwdown. <laughs> yeah, just another message to the defense that they are in control of this Dang. one. I think the message is received. The defense knows these guys are making them look powerless. The chemistry so obvious on these alley-oops. Fantastic sequence there. Plays like that, Clark, bring a team closer together. For sure. Yeah, I like when guys take initiative and go after chances like this. And stolen by Peyton. And here we go. Fast break. Peyton's got it. Ooh, Ron Harper with the defense. Kemp kicks to Peyton. Hawkins with it. Passes it to Shrimp. Seattle needs to get off a shot. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. Off target from outside. The Bulls leading by four. And they double up Jordan. He dishes it to Harper. Peyton against Jordan. And the ball's tied up. So <sighs> they desperate, boy. All this double team.
It's Hawkins on the wing, guarded by Pippen. The good defense. Wins. No good. It's Rodman with the ball for the Chicago Bulls. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed to six points. And both teams have been clicking all night long on the offensive end. Great shooting, and they've executed well. It's nothing but fireworks for the fans. Time called here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. They're down by six. 157 left in the fourth quarter. Brikowski, he's checked in for Let's go. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Peyton, upside count. Good D, good foul, Rodman. Make him earn him at the strike. Make him earn. And so Kent nails both of them. When the game is tight, he is the guy who they want at the strike. Someone who consistently makes his free throw. And the basket is good. Got it to go. And one. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And that one misses. Six trail by six. There is a minute 34 left to play in the final quarter. Peyton passes to Hawkins. Now Shrimp. Down low. Tiff. Sonic showing the grit, trying desperately to force a game seven. Sean Kemp, big time leader on this team. And this team really leans on him. Oh! Composure down the stretch. Kemp goes through with a critical basket. Jordan is double. Wants to get it to Rodman and does. That's the dumbest foul ever, bro. They don't want to win, bro. They don't want to win. And Brokowski, a chance to be an unlikely hero. Those free throws were Let's put the dagger in there for him, guys. Let's put the dagger in the car. Rodman with a screen on Pete. Jordan passes to Rodman. Knocked away. And they're on the break. Here's Brikowski. Ooh, off line. Tim. I can't believe it. Oh, nicely done. Yes, he coolly got that one to drop under pressure. Chicago calls timeout. Twelve seconds left in the fourth quarter. Top Jordan has to long Count it! And it's Longley. Not the guy you expect to come up big. But that's why this is a great team. Seattle calls timeout. They trail by two. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Fans 
Sims. It makes this special. This team has gone through so much. But this win solidifies this Bulls team's place in NBA history, don't you think? I agree, and I think they very well could be the best team ever. Maybe the best we've ever seen, this 96 Bulls team. And Michael Jordan, his fourth title. MJ is in the conversation for greatest player of all time. Jordan, Pippen, Rodman, all future Hall of Famers. Boy, if a picture is worth a thousand words, what more can you say? And you can just see the emotion and what this moment means to Michael Jordan. Congratulations to the Chicago Bulls 1996 NBA champion. We did it! This is for you, Dad! We did it for you, Michael's dad! We did it! We did it! Good job. Yeah, Father's Day victory. We did it for you, Dad! We're going to stop right here. All right, man. We're going to stop right here, man. I appreciate everybody watching, everybody kicking it with me this was a good round the next game the next stream we do with the jordan challenge is gonna be the last one we're gonna finish it up we're gonna have three more challenges to do we're gonna do the flu game and we're gonna finish it all the way out thanks for hanging out with me i'm out until next time